Completing this video was challenging. I finished the scene within one day, and I was happy with the result. But trying to replicate what I just created for the video was a real challenge. It took me more than 10 days. I hope you will find this video helpful. I started with the default cube, scaled it down, added an array modifier. Then I added a curve. And to make the cube align with the curve, I added a curve modifier to it. For the opposite side, I duplicated and rotated it 180 degrees. Same thing for the roof. Just replace the old curve with the new curve. And for the front side of the house, I added a plane. And kept extruding and scaling it to align with the house. Duplicated it for the back side. Then to create the entrance, added some loop cuts. Tried to make it as square as possible. Then with the knife tool, joined the corner vertices. And then beveled the middle vertex and deleted it for the hole. For the perch, I simply inset the face below and extruded it front. For the base, I use a plane and extruded it down. In the top, I added a cube, extruded it down, and extruded its side faces to support the house. After creating a hole on top, I added a subsurf modifier to it, then added a cylinder with eight segments. Inset side faces and bridged them to create a ring shape. Then I duplicated, moved it up, and bridged the two opposite faces. Also added a subsurf modifier. Then I added another curve for a hook and made it S-shaped. And for the tree trunk, I used a cylinder. Tweaked it a bit with proportional editing. Then added an Archimedean and changed some of its settings to get a spiral shape for the vine. For the leaf, added a plane. Made some loop cuts, scaled them down. Added a subsurf modifier. Then I added an empty. And added an array modifier to the leaf. And selected the empty as the object offset. I rotated the empty a bit and applied the array. Then I added another array modifier and also a curve modifier. And selected the spiral as the object. I scaled the leaves down and aligned them with the trunk. I then added a camera and aligned it with the view. Changed its resolution and then split the viewport. Change the smaller viewport to material preview. For the backdrop, I use a plane, extrude its edge, and added a bevel modifier to it. For lighting the scene, I use an area light. Increase the power and size. I also added a point lamp to illuminate the front side. Then I added materials to all the objects. In the render properties, I changed the look to high contrast and increased the exposure. Also turned on ambient occlusion. The background was looking very empty, so I thought of adding some leaves there. I simply duplicated and rotated the leaves at different distances. Then I added an empty in the scene, and added depth of field to the camera. And for bull cabler, I use a circle this time, with the mission material set to it. I duplicated it, and scattered it across the scene. People say you need to add life to your artworks to make them seem less boring. So I decided to add a bird. I use a bird outline that I had drawn myself. And then use a cube in edit mode to make it look like a bird. I deleted the half part and added a mirror modifier to it. Then with the proportional tool turned on, I made some parts fatter, and some slimmer. For the legs, I use a cube again, and made it longer. And for the eyes, cube again.
I decided to give this bird a yellow color, and some parts of it as white. That does it for this video. Thanks for watching, let me know what you think of the final result. Also, if you enjoy watching this kind of quick video, subscribe to the channel.